Anime, short for animation, is a mesmerizing and diverse form of entertainment that has captured the hearts and minds of people worldwide. It's a medium that spans across different genres, styles, and narratives, offering something for everyone. From children to adults, boys and girls, anime has one of the largest consumer bases this world has ever seen. With a big presence in the American mainstream media within the past 10 years, it's important for us to take a step back and see see where it all began. One of the defining features of anime is its ability to push the boundaries of storytelling. From epic space odysseys, thrilling samurai duels, to heartwarming coming-of-age tales, and also fantastical adventures with mythical creatures. Anime covers a vast spectrum of narratives. It can whisk you away to distant galaxies, plunge you into the depths of ancient history, or simply make you laugh till you cry with its quirky humor. But anime isn't just about the story. It's a visual feast for the eyes. The artistry is often shaking with intricate character designs, stunning landscapes, and action sequences that defy the laws of physics. With its rich and diverse palette, anime has the power to evoke a wide range of emotions, from tears of sadness to ones of joy, often within the very same episode. So whether you're ready to embark on an epic quest or simply want to unwind with a slice of life series, anime is your game way to a world of imagination, emotion, and endless possibilities. Without further ado, let's dive into the past and take a look at the evolution of this great medium we call anime. Beginning in the 8th century, Japan went through what is known as the Nara period. It was during this period that Japan saw the establishment of a new centralized government in the form of Emperor Shomu. It is during this time that Buddhism, which has been introduced earlier in the 6th century, had continued to grow. Because of this, Emperor Shomu and Empress Kiyoma, now devout Buddhists, sponsored the construction of many Buddhist temples and statues. During this time, the Japanese writing system was developed as well as the creation of historical texts and recordings of Japan's early history. It is during this time that Japan expanded its diplomatic ties with neighboring countries such as the Chinese Tang Dynasty. These ties led to many cultural exchanges and the importation of Chinese culture, including art, literature, and Confucianism. During this time, ancient Japan's literature flourished. This gave birth to hand-painted scrolls that could tell stories without a single spoken word. Fast forward to the Edo period, or the 18th century, a feudal lord by the name of Tokigawa established military rule which brought peace and stability to Japan after constant centuries of war. In addition to peace and stability, Tokigawa also implemented strict policies to control foreign influence. During this period of time, Japan cut off diplomatic trade and relations to the outside world. This period saw a lot of urbanization and growth. As the merchant class began to rise, the growth of cities led to cultural developments. It is during this time that Japan sought the flourishing yukairo, or a genre of woodblock prints that depicted intricate visual storytelling. Kiboshi were illustrated novels that gained popularity during this time as they combined simple illustrations together covering a wide range of subjects from satire to fictional stories and everything else in between. It is during this time that there was a demand for more illustrated materials that could entertain and educate people as the literacy rate went up. As more people started to read and understand, this is when artists started expanding and exploring new ways to depict characters and scenes. Yo! 
With Color TV came many changes to anime. The most obvious change was their appearance as they switched from dull black and white to having a diverse color palette. And this made it way more visually appealing to the eye. With this addition of color, it allowed for a greater artistic expression and more creativity. With the addition of color, anime attracted a much bigger audience to these diverse set of characters on the screen. This access of color made it easier to discover and distinguish between different genres of anime. While black and white focuses more on the dark or historical themes, color allowed for way more emotion to be brought by both characters and the viewer. Color TV also influenced many character designs as now they have different appearances so that they are easier to connect with. Due to color, iconic character designs have become a staple in any anime series. Color TV also impacted several other aspects of anime, including the marketing and merchandising of these distinct characters. Finally, Color TV also drove up production and animation studios to invest in different tech products, which in turn resulted in a smoother animation and a more detailed background. The word moeka comes from two distinct words in Japanese. Mo, which means cute, endearing, youthful, or innocent, and the word mecha, which means giant robot. As during this time, mecha animes already existed. Moeka attached a broader audience as it included cute and relatable characters. Moeka shifted the focus from epic mech battles to a more character-driven storyline. This change emphasizes more on the characters' emotions, personalities, and relationships relationships, which allows for plenty of character development. This revolution gave rise to some of the most famous anime, such as Gurren Lagann, Neon Genesis, and Code Geass. The new lovable characters introduced during this period opened the door for plenty of merchandising opportunities. This is the era where anime merch really took off, as fans would purchase and show off figurines, as well as collectibles of their favorite characters. Moeka also incorporated many other genres, like fantasy and and science fiction. Because of the cross-genre influence, this led to Mo elements in a wide range of anime. The Moeka revolution also influenced many character design trends across the anime industry. While not all anime adopted this Moeka style, the subgenre's influence on character design, storytelling, and audience appeal has left a long-lasting mark on anime as a whole. Going from the 70s to the 80s, this was the era where magical girls and monsters has a significant impact on anime. This era brought on what is known as shoujo. Shoujo is a type of anime and manga that is mainly aimed at a young female audience. The word shoujo means girl or young lady in Japanese. Shoujo anime often features female protagonists and themes that appeal to young girls. The first of these types of anime were Magical Princess Miki Momo and Magical Angel Creamy Mimi. These shows introduced the concept of ordinary girls transforming into powerful magic beings to fight evil and protect the world. This subgenre of anime remains popular to this day and has produced one of the most iconic animes and that being Sailor Moon and Banana Fish. This era empowered female protagonists and gave them vital roles as strong and independent characters. This female representation challenged the gender roles and set the stage for more diverse female characters in anime. This era included for the first time a new formula called Monster of the Week. In this episodic format, the heroes faced a new monster or adversary every single week. This became a staple to not just this genre, but many others as well. In this era, each and every character were diverse with different and distinct character designs. During this, magical girls had vibrant costumes with unique magical transformations that set them apart from the rest. This genre of anime was made so popular due to the themes that this genre sent. 
the themes of friendship, teamwork, courage, and self-acceptance resonated with audiences around the world, therefore contributing to the popularity of this genre. Because of these positive themes, as well as empowering female characters, this genre of anime has remained so relevant and popular to this day. The 90s introduced us to what is known as the shonen era of anime. And ever since this era has been introduced, the anime industry as a whole hasn't been the same since. Anime within the genre of shonen often feature action, adventure, and relatable coming of age themes. The synergy during this time between anime and manga has never been better as many successful shonen have been adapted from their manga counterparts. Shonen anime often run on for longer periods of time and therefore have become a cultural phenomenon and they have a significant impact on the anime landscape as a whole. Examples of these would be anime like Naruto, Dragon Ball, and One Piece. As we know, Shonen is known for its dynamic and action-packed fight scenes. These series have pushed the boundaries of animation techniques. A good example of this would be Demon Slayer. Shonen anime typically focuses on a character's growth and development. This is heavily emphasized in character arcs and personal journeys, which has influenced other genres of anime, making them more character-driven. A great example of an amazing character arc is that of Eren Yeager from the hit show Attack on Titan. Successful shonen anime often lead to a plethora of merchandising including toys, video games, clothing, and more. This creates a robust industry around these anime increasing to their success and longevity. Shonen anime has transcended the cultural boundaries gaining a massive international following. This global appeal has contributed to not just the shonen genre, but to anime as a whole, as many contemporary anime creators and directors have been inspired by the shonen classics. As they draw in several aspects from the anime shonen crates and incorporate it into their own works. Shonen's explosive popularity, enduring appeal, and innovations in storytelling and animation techniques have left an incredible mark on the anime industry as a whole. Even though Shonen is aimed primarily at a younger male audiences, it has had a significant and lasting impact on the anime industry as a whole. Shonen has played a pivotal role in shaping the medium of anime by attracting different and diverse audiences. This genre has inspired future generations of anime creators to come. The 2000s was the era that the term isekai was born. Isekai is a subgenre of anime where characters are transported to parallel or ultimate dimensions and worlds. The subgenre of isekai was so new and different that it had great potential to attract new audiences to anime. Isekai anime allowed for a wide range of storytelling from lighthearted comedies to dark and intricate dramas. This diversity kept the genre fresh and appealing to all different tastes. Isekai brought fantastical settings and relatable characters, thereby increasing to its popularity, especially internationally. Elements such as all Alternate worlds and character growth have seeped into other genres of anime, but maintained its strong presence in isekai. Examples of great isekai anime include The Rise of the Shield Hero, ReZero, and Sword Art Online. Many isekai anime are adapted from books that aren't manga, providing a bit of fresh air for some viewers. Isekai introduced and popularized many tropes that we see in the world of anime today, such as overpowered protagonists, the premise of reincarnation, and the term harem characters. These tropes have been shared to many other genres in the anime world. Isekai has done what so many other genres have failed to do in the past, like give their anime satirical titles. These titles address some of the common anime cliches 
cliches in a funny sort of way. A good example of this is that time I got reincarnated as a slime. While initially dominated by male protagonists, Isekai has also expanded to include some female leads. This offers diverse perspectives on character dynamics. Cultures and myths of other places have been incorporated into this genre, leading to the cross-cultural storytelling and introducing viewers to new stories ideas, and concepts. The success of different isekai has had a significant impact economically, driving sales, producing video games, as well as making spin-off adaptations of well-known isekai. Overall, the isekai invasion brought about many different titles that have reshaped the anime landscape. In addition to providing unique storylines, it has also introduced the anime world to diverse themes and storytelling. Starting in 2010, anime has found a new home and that is streaming. Streaming has had a profound impact on various aspects of anime from consumption to production to distribution. Due to streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and the infamous Crunchyroll, anime has never been so easy to access. Fans from across the world could tune into any of these streaming services and enjoy regardless of where you are. Streaming services introduce to us what is known as simulcasting. Simulcasting is a concept of the release of an international broadcast shortly after the original Japanese airing. Simulcasting reduces the rate of piracy and provides fans with timely access to each and every exciting new episode. Streaming platforms offer a wide variety of different anime among different genres catering to different tastes. Streaming catalogs encourage the production of diverse content allowing different niches to thrive. This has increased the production budget and quality of anime. Streaming services also provide their own original anime concepts. This just adds to the attraction and intrigues of new audiences. Now, streaming platforms invest in high quality subtitles and dubbing voice actors, making anime more accessible to viewers who prefer to watch in their native language. This in turn helps broaden the anime fan base. Streaming platforms collect data on each and every viewer as well as their preferences. This in turn helps out studios and creators alike to understand what works and tailor-made content specifically to their certain taste. The success of streaming has influenced several industries in Japan, leading to how anime is produced, marketed, and distributed. Streaming platforms compete for licensing rights, therefore driving up the value of different anime. Services like these offer interactive features like forums, communities, and merch. Streaming platforms offer revenue sharing opportunities to both creators and studios through subscription fees and advertising. This in turn provides a sustainable income source for the industry. The streaming revolution made it easier than ever to access anime, boosted the quality of it, expanded its consumer base, and much more. Streaming has played a pivotal role in the growth and globalization of the anime industry as a whole. The history of anime spans over several centuries and is characterized by many different transformations and milestones. From the early scrolls to streaming, anime sure has changed a lot. To this day, anime has emerged as a global cultural phenomenon. And to this day, it continues to evolve and diversify. Throughout its history, anime has been influenced by and in turn has influenced very artistic, cultural, and technological movements. It has thrived through several different periods of time, including that of economic turmoil and innovation. Anime has changed and adapted to changing different production techniques and distribution methods. 
Anime has transcended national borders capable of capturing the imaginations of audiences worldwide. Its unique storytelling, diverse genre, and visual stunning animation have made it a cherished medium that resonates with people of all ages and backgrounds. As anime continues to evolve in response to the digital age, streaming revolution, and globalization, it remains a testament to the power, creativity, storytelling, and enduring appeal of animation. It holds even more promise as it adapts to new technology, engages with a global fan base, and explores innovative and creative storytelling techniques. This ensures the legacy of anime as it will continue to enrich the world of entertainment for generations to come.